quite so gentle anymore. In fact, he looks rather peeved. <laughs> <laughs> folk didn't have enough problems of our own with the Empire without the likes of you trying to expunge us. Now, let us away! Set sail for the Sanctuary! Looks like we'll have to find another way into this sanctuary there's he. I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I wanted to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy. Uh, are you serious? Then you could all come and visit me when I move in, <coughs> in, into my mushroom house. <laughs> <laughs> 
SIC Species Identity Crisis. It's a terrible thing. We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands. <laughs> Creature of magic. No, do not let this barbarian in, Dryad. He is an enemy to all that is fluffy and adorable, like this poor fellow here. <laughs> Don't worry, Lord. I'm sure you'll find a way to bypass that pesky plot person. <laughs> A shard of netherworld rock. Perhaps I don't know what happened here. The box is our gate. Quick, pick up it. As soon as Grubby can build a gate, you can send it back to the netherworld. Yeah. 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 